Hey, welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, hopefully you're watching this in black and white. Hopefully I have remembered. Because this is the latest instalment of my photo inspiration collaboration series and I'm absolutely delighted that I have a new collabie the very beautiful Kaylee. Now we, we have collabed in our Sweet Sixteen collab when we did the Musician Inspired and when we did Halloween in July but this is the first time we are collabing I want to say mano a mano, but that's man on man and we're woman on woman. That sounds awful now I've said that out loud. It's the first time we are collabing. Just the two of us. There we go. You know I'd sing somewhere, didn't you? Hmm? Yeah, it's... Anyway, if you want to find out exactly what our inspiration is this time and how this looks glorious Technicolor and my friend you have chosen exactly the right place grab a drink or grab a snack put your feet up and enjoy hey welcome back from the intro um, I'm sorry it's quite dark but it is quite literally just gone seven in the morning uh, I have got my strip lighting on. If I take it up one more notch, um, it just completely blurs out everything on my face and then you can't see what I'm doing. And I'm not the sort of person that does that. I like you to be able to see what I'm doing and uh, be able to recreate it yourself. Now, hopefully the intro is in black and white because this is the latest instalment of my photo inspiration collaboration series. So many syllables for this time of the morning. Mm. Well, I'm delighted to say I've got a new collabi, and it's the gorgeous Kaylee. Um, I'll chat through stuff, get you zoomed in, and then I'll talk about Kaylee. Um, this is a teaching channel, and that combined with my chronic pain means that sometimes I go far too slowly for some people. There is a speed widget. Please use it. I won't be offended because I'm not even going to know. Alright. Um, face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed. Um, and all I have got on my eyes at the moment is, this has fast become my staple, Crow and Pebble Blank Page Primer in Cotton, which is the white base. And uh, just, to just to prove a point, I have definitely hit pan on that, look at that. Thankfully, I've got another one waiting for me that I bought. Right, let's get you zoomed in. I'll talk you through eye shape and start sticking some colour on my face. Um, I will just quickly show you the palette I'm using today. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Pastel Tribe has arrived. Uh, she was a pre-order and um, Salma had some real problems because customs just held on to it for a ridiculous amount of time. Um, this is what she looks like. Gorgeous, huh? Um, and she said she's going to stop doing pre-orders because it gave her so much stress where customs held on to it for so long past the date that they were meant to have gone out, way past the date they were meant to have gone out. Um, so she's actually going to stop doing pre-orders because it just gives her too much stress and gives her too much hassle um, which is a shame because it's nice to know that you've got it pre-ordered and you, you definitely got it coming at some point hopefully maybe at some point in the future when she has more staff to help with the workload maybe then she'll change her mind but until then right let's get you zoomed in um, I do have a discount code with Blush Tribe. All my discount codes are listed 
in the description box uh, below and clearly stated whether I own from them or not. Blush Tribe one, I don't. Right, now I've got deep set eyes, sometimes referred to as double lidded eyes. Now a lot of people mistakenly think they have hooded lids or well, they're told they have hooded lids and I'm just going to talk you through the differences and explain to you what they are so that you can ascertain which type of lid you have because how you apply makeup depends very much on the type of lid you've got. Now, when I relax my brows and look straight forward you can see all of my inner, my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. Okay, So I don't have a hooded lid, it's only if your static lid completely covers right down to the lash line your mobile lid that you have a full or a half hooded eye or what's known as a mono or an Asian eyelid. Now, I have the same issues that people with hooded lids get in that I get transference of shimmer onto the upper lid. When I cut my crease I can't just cut through the socket, I have to come up here and um, when I use glitters it, I always get a bare patch here even when I use glitter glue. So, um, so I'm just going to grab suddenly remember that balls suddenly remember that I need to get a specific concealer out for today come on and if I don't do it now I'm going to forget uh, let's put me up back over there that fell down. Uh, I've got this white concealer from Colourpop that I'm going to be using today. I'm trying out something completely new that I've not done before. It's either going to go very well or it's going to go very badly but uh, you're going to get to watch it. Now if I show you what I mean about double um, lidded eyes or deep set eyes like I've got, if I cover my mobile lid and close my eye, can you see I've got as much lid again that tucks back away? Likewise, if I cover my static lid and close my eye, there's a patch of skin above the crease that also tucks back in. That's why we get the same issues. Now, you can still follow my tutorials. Obviously, my tutorial is aimed towards people like myself that have got the deep set eyes or, you know, normal eyes. Yeah, whatever normal it is. Um, but if you've got hooded lids, get yourself a brush, something like this, or a pencil brush and just sketch out on your static lid where you want your new crease to fall. Now obviously that's going to reduce the space between your crease and your brow. So just use a slightly smaller blending brush than I do and you will be absolutely fine. Right, um, I'm going to pop a picture up on screen now and completely cover my face. Completely cover my face. Um, this is the picture that um, I've chosen this time and you can see it's a beautiful kind of it, it's a space themed picture but it's got lots of beautiful pastel colours on it. Okay back to me hello um, and the lovely lady that I am collabing with today first time, we well, got the first time we've collabed together because we've collabed in a group situation together but it's the first time we've collabed just the two of us and it is the beautiful Kaylee so let's start sticking some colour on my eyes and I'll tell you a little bit more about Kaylee I'm going to use um, I've got a films listed in my description box below <clears throat> and one of them is a is one where I recommend different brush series and I'm going to be using one of the brushes that I recommend from there I'm going to be going in with the this is the uh, contour brush number nine from the Aliexpress set okay all right now I'm going to start off I think with Caitlin which is the yellow so, Kaylee, I actually discovered her channel <clears throat> when she did a collab with Anya, who you know 
is one of my girlies from the pictures of Eastwick. And we had a film go up a few days ago. And um, she'd collabed with Kaylee. And that's how I discovered her channel. And I started watching her and I just thought, wow, I really like this woman. I love her personality. I love her outlook on things. Um, and as I was learning more about her, it turns out she's a US Army veteran who um, had to leave the forces due to a back injury. And I'm like, oh girl, back pain, I feel you there. Um, and I just I started watching more and more of her stuff and kept thinking, I really should ask her to clap, but she probably hasn't got a clue who I am. Um, and then we collabed together in... I think it was the Musicians Collab and then the Halloween in July Collab that we did <clears throat> as part of the Sweet Sixteen group and then she messaged me saying Angie, why have we never collabed? and I'm like, Kaylee, I don't know <laughs> I can do this over on the side as well um, this eye I've got super deep creasing where it was pulled around because I'm blind in this eye um, at the ophthalmic so I do have to keep just gently stretching the lid out just to make sure I've got the whole crease covered otherwise I get colourful pigment falling down my face during the day deep joy yeah so we um, got chatting and we discovered we've got an awful lot in common so I said to her okay would you like to join my um, <clears throat> photo inspiration series and she's like I thought you'd never ask. Awesome. Silicon straw in case you're wondering. And uh, as always, I always give people the option of choosing the picture themselves. And she went, no, 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 you choose first. Went, okay, cool. And I chose the picture that I showed you earlier. And uh, She's like, oh my goodness, I love it. Did you know I've got a tattoo with a star on, on my back? And I'm like, no I didn't, but I do now. And that makes this even more appropriate a photo. I sent through, I think, I think that was the only one that I sent through. Because I just, I've got a lot of different pictures on my phone. When I see something and I think, well oh, that'll be a good one. Or oh, that'll be a good one. And depending on, A, the mood I'm in when I'm picking the picture and be the personality of the person that I'm collabing with very much depends on which photo I send over sometimes I send a selection a lot of times I'll just send the one now, if you notice I kept stopping and looking and making sure that they look the same each side because obviously your eyes are not symmetrical and I'm just building it up. The beauty of this chrome pebble pigment, uh, eyeshadow powder rather, is that it's not sticky so you can blend on it straight away. You don't need to set it with powder but you can blend on it almost as if you have set it with powder. So you get super super bright eyeshadow impact but you still have the ability to blend. Okay I like that. I've got a microfiber towel here that I'm cleaning my brush off on in between colours. So, yeah, so um, normally I'm well ahead with all my collabs. I've got them filmed and queued up usually about a week or so before they go live. Uh, and I'm actually filming this the day before this guy is meant to go up. Because um, I've been in so much pain, I've just not been able to do anything. Right, I think I'm going to go into Imrana next, which is a beautiful sort of melony orange kind of colour. I'm going to pop that on next. And again, I'm just plopping the colour on and building it up. And then I'll very lightly buff where the two colours meet just to blend them 
seamlessly a la John McLean into one another. Funnily enough, some of the first few photo inspirations that I did were with um, photos of space because they can just be so stunning and obviously you've got the option because if you've never watched my photo inspiration series before you have one photo inspiring two sometimes three people um, into a makeup look and the only rules are you can only use the colours that are in the actual palette in the um, picture you can't add any in so for example in this one um, in this picture there isn't really a green there's a bit where the yellow overlaps the blue but there's not a true green so I couldn't add a true green or I couldn't add um, a bright red because there's not a bright red on there there's a dusky red but there's not a bright red on there um, so you can only use the colours that are in the picture but you don't have to use all of them if you don't want to so if you wanted to use the black to make it really striking you can and if you wanted to leave it just bright pastels you can and obviously because your everybody's monitor and phone screen displays them slightly differently there's always a chance that you'll see a colour that the other person sees in a different way and also because our eyes uh, respond to colours in different ways you know the, the green and what is it the, the, the blue and black or white and gold dress is a perfect example of that right, I'm going to go into Kim which is a beautiful pastel baby pink which may or may not show up on my skin. I may have to add a little bit of Marcy in so that we can see her, but we'll, we'll try and see how she does. Because one thing I love about Blush Tribe is that being a aimed at people with more melanin skin, it uh, all of their palettes have pigment. I mean, look at that. Normally that would not shop against my skin. And yet that looks beautiful. Can't see a damn thing now. I'm relying very much on muscle memory. And if it's being blind in that eye, I guess. Yes, so... And that's literally the only rules. You can only use the colours in the picture. Can't add any in. Don't have to use all the colours. And you can interpret it however you like. You know, if you want to do half of the colours on your eyes and the other half on your lips, fine. You know, if you want to, like I did with the, um, the most recent one, with the pictures of Eastwick that I did. I got very elongated off to one side with it. Fine. It's all about what the picture inspires you to create. And that's what that's all about, just inspiration. I might pick up a little bit of Marcy, just to deepen that up. I'm literally just putting the tiniest little bit on the tip of the brush just so that it stands out when I put the next colour on really. You see what I mean about the difference that made and it's literally just it's kind of making me want a strawberry milkshake right now which is not good because I have milk but I have no strawberries and I have no milkshake powder or liquid in the house. So Bad time to be craving a strawberry milkshake, Ange. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. I like that. Right. What other colours do I have? Uh, pinky, purpley kind of colour. I might go into Gale for the next bit. 
which is this kind of pinky purple. I'm just you can see I've got creasing here, which sometimes can be a bit of a bugger getting pigment to lay down on properly. But I shall see how we go. As you can see, I'm just taking this all the way from lash line up to about sort of four or five mils from the bottom of my brow because I'm going to try doing something different on the lid this time. It's something that I've seen a lot of people do and it looks beautiful and I've wanted to try it for ages and never had the balls. So here I am, restricted on time, really should be doing quite a simple look so that I've got time to edit it and get it uploaded because where I film, edit, export and upload in HD it can take, well a one hour film can take six hours to export and then about an hour to upload so I've got editing down to quite a quite a quick routine now like a tutti frutti which if you're not from the UK you have no idea what that is it's um it's a chewy sweet also known as a fruit salad in some places which is sort of this colour one end and this colour the other end and tastes vaguely of Kind of a mixture of orange and strawberry to me anyway. If you've had a fruit salad or a tutti frutti, let me know what they taste like to you. And which end of the country you're in as well. Let's see if the southern ones taste different to the northern ones or the Scottish ones or the Irish ones or um, the Welsh ones. I mean, I'm barely putting any pigment on at all, and yet you're getting such a beautiful, beautiful finish. Oh, I can see me using this palette a lot. This is... Mm, my favourite blush tribe palette is still the Hasina 2. But this could come in a very, very close second, the way it's looking at the moment, I have to be honest. If you've got a very, very light colour and a darker colour, it's best to pick up some of the light colour and use that when you're blending the edges together. Just so the light colour doesn't get lost. And then finally we have a blue. So I think I'll go in with Dana for that one. All kinds of everything remind me of you. Sorry, Dana sang that in the Eurovision Song Contest. Many, 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 many years ago. You can sort of mean now about that creasing giving me trouble. But you can also see what I mean about how well these blend on that chrome pebble eyeshadow palette base, eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow primer. I mean, it's it's taken over from my Mac Soft Ochre paint pot, put it that way, because with the Mac Soft Ochre, you have to sort of tap the pigment on like this and then you can only really blend the edges which is not the look I wanted for this I wanted the whole thing to be kind of blended and swirling together how's your day been? has it been a good one? I hope so or if you're at the start of your day I hope it's going to be a good one. 
I'm picking up so little pigment when I'm dipping this in, literally look, that's all I'm picking up because I don't want to overwhelm the pink with the blue but I still want the blue to have its moment and I kind of want the two to blend and almost make like a purplier tone through the middle like so that's pretty this palette is so beautiful I was it actually arrived yesterday and I wanted to play with it then but unfortunately my pain levels were so high I swatched it and literally just just literally laying my arm down in the angle I needed to get the photos to put up on Insta of the swatches there was, there was no way I was going to be able to film yesterday. Plus my IBS was playing up. I'd have been stopping every 10 minutes to uh, dash to the smallest room in the house. <laughs> I'm sorry, Katie. First collab with me and I'm chatting about IBS and all sorts. But then, if anybody's... If this is your first time to my channel, this is what I'm like. I chatter and chunter about all kind of different things and apparently my voice is quite soothing so nobody seems to mind that much again I'm just checking that I've got this similar kind of curve I think I could probably come out a little bit at the bottom there Just, uh, I'm holding this brush right at the end so I'm putting as little pressure on my eye as possible. I don't go as in depth with my teaching methods on this because it's more about the collab than well, that I do tend to slip straight back into my teaching habits so sorry about that. Right now comes the scary bit. This is the bit that I'm a little intimidated by, shall we say. Because it's a new technique to me. I've not done this before. Right. I have got my Pokemon fan kiss. Belbessa is my favourite. Because he's a stubborn little bugger. He protects his friends by headbutting people out of the way. And I think in terms of Pokemon... That's probably my closest match. Right. Now, if ever you've seen me cut my crease, you'll have seen that I use these acrylic brushes or designed for nail acrylic because they come down so, so fine. Um, but I'm just seeing if I've got one that's slightly more rounded or curved tip on it. I always keep these plastic covers on them because they're in a pot and I don't want them getting as you can see look that one has got a little bit sticking off the side where I missed it but you can literally just gently squeeze it together and look how fine it comes down I love that right so this is my Colourpop no filter concealer in white you can use any white base um, if you haven't got a white concealer but you've got a white eyeliner you could try it with that um, or just use the absolute lightest brightest concealer that you've got right so I've popped some of that on there and I'm just going to dip the tip of my brush in And coat both sides but not with too much. Oh, this is the bit that I'm worried about. Right. So 
So you can see with my eyes open I just marked where the highest point was. And what I'm attempting to do is clouds. So I'm trying to get sort of fluffy edged and I have to keep checking that it's still above my crease, my visible crease I should say. I've actually got a tiny mirror here that I'm looking into just to try and keep it as accurate as possible and I'm trying to give the cloud a bit of a fluffier edge as well I keep going back and picking up a little bit more of the concealer on the brush because I don't want too much on there at once. And, uh, and I'm just going to fill in the rest of the eye. Stopping it about about there, I think. <sighs> One down. Now I've got to try and recreate this that side. Tape joy. Alright, so again, what you can do, you can, as if you're going to cut the crease, whack a bit of concealer like that, open your eye and blink, and it will give you the upper limits of, or the, the lowest part that you want your cloud to be so that it's still visible. Bump a bit of cloud there, and I'm just going to stretch this lid out. Do not do this unless you have super super deep creasing like I have just there, <clears throat> otherwise you will end up with super super deep creasing. And I promise you, once you've got it, it doesn't go away. I just keep popping back in on here and I'm literally just sort of pulling some of the concealer down and then lightly coating both sides of the brush. Did before, just hmm. <sighs> cannot tell you how nerve wracking that was, folks. grab my slush 2 
which is the September Rose palette and is the the all matte follow up to the original slush and I'm going to go into this white here which is called Frozen Moscow and I'm going to use this brush, I've wiped it off on the microfiber cloth I'm just going to go in and pick up some of the colour and I'm just going to set this concealer with a white eyeshadow. Now I could have set it with translucent powder or a highlight but I just wanted to set it with a little bit of white matte shadow today and I'm literally just sort of pressing that onto the slightly tacky concealer I don't know why, but I always seem to try out new techniques like this when I'm filming. I never practice them off camera. That would be the sensible thing to do. I kind of... I almost want you to see when I make mistakes. Because all too many channels would cut that out or you know put it in bloopers at the end of the film and I'm just like no you know what if I've hit this problem there's a good chance that you could too and I just want you to see how if I do hit a problem I deal with it and how I fix it it's no good cutting it out and making it look perfect if you hit the same problem and have to wait till the end of the film to find out how to fix it okay I like that, I like that a lot. Let's pop slush two back over there. I was so tempted to use my slush and slush two, but then this new blush tribe palette arrived and I'm just like, oh, I need to use that one. Right, just cleaning off a brush and I'm about to pop his little little plastic cover on. And pop him back in the pot and then I've got a super super fine this is a liner brush and I'm going to dip that into the concealer I'm going to attempt do a star On there, and I think maybe a tiny one up here, and just here. Now, what I'm also going to do, I'm going to let that dry a little bit while I do hopefully the same thing on the other eye <clears throat> because I've got a iridescent eyeliner that I want to try out 
That could be a good way to just give these stars a little bit of sparkle. What do you think? I'm chatting to you like you're in my kitchen and you can answer me. Do they say the first sign of madness is getting an answer, but does that count if you answer yourself? Ah, oh, pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. Now I sound like the chef from bloody Muppets. My mind goes off on tangents, by the way. If you're new here, you, <laughs> you will become accustomed to this. Assuming you'd like to stay, of course. Right, so I've got this W7 Metal Flash. Um, is it, is it, does it have a shade? Oh, it's just called... Um, Oh, iridescent. Trying to read tiny writing on top of glitter. It's not easy. So I'm just going to try... I think actually I might put some on this plate again. Because the problem with this is it's it's keeping all of the iridescent -y jelly bits at the base of the bristles and I kind of need them at the tip of the bristles. So I've just scraped some off onto here as you can see. Pick some up on the tip of the bristles and just Paint them on the stars. How many of you thought I was going to pick up my star stamp and go nuts with that again? I was tempted, but I didn't have a white star stamp. I didn't want to because I'd done quite a dramatic. Um, inspired photo last time in terms of depth of colour etc. kind of wanted to go a little bit brighter today. I'm just whacking a little bit. Plus the fact that it's so dull and overcast and raining makes me want to try and encourage the sun to come out. But not get too hot because then this will all melt off my face. If you don't have iridescent liner like this, you can always do glitter glue and glitter, or you could use a highlighter um, just to give you some sparkle. There's lots and lots of different ways that you can get that effect. I just wanted the tiniest little flashes of twinkling stars in the night sky. Going very Dylan Thomas, aren't I? That's lovely. Right, I'm going to pause you while I nip off screen and do foundation, etc. And I'll be back to finish off this eye look with you. You're going to see me instantly. I will see you next time I press the record button. So, here we go. I am back. As you can see, I went for purpley pink brows today because, well, why not really? Hmm. Right, I'm going back in with this uh, flat top brush that I showed you earlier. 
And I'm going into Dana, which is the blue. And I'm going to connect that up with the outside edge there. And just run it along underneath my bottom lashes. Like so. Yes, I'm flinching this side because being blind in this eye, I've got no peripheral vision. I'm relying on muscle memory and if you find a quite a way off when I haven't got contact lens in. And the number of times I poke myself in the eye. Well. Wow. Let's just say that's the thing that probably gets edited out the most from my films. Right, um, I'm going to use another brush now to buff out that bottom lash line. And this is actually the brush from the Tarte Graveyard Girl collab, Swamp Queen collab. I like it because it's flat top but it's thick. Um, you can get the same effect with um, a stubby packing brush or smudger brush and obviously I've done matte so far all the way through uh, but I don't have a lighter matte blue so I'm actually going to go into Marcy which is the slightly deeper pink that I use to deepen up this one here I'm just going to buff that very softly along that lower lash line just to soften it slightly and give a hint of the pinky element above. I oh, like that. I cannot wait to see what Kaylee's done. She comes up with some really, really beautiful looks. I'm just so glad that I found her through Anya's channel. Anya is of course the queen of collabs. I think in uh, July, which obviously has 31 days, she had 28 collabs. The woman is a dynamo. And she suffers from chronic pain the same as me, so I genuinely have no idea how she achieves it. I, the woman is a bloody miracle, honestly. And, you know, Kaylee's pretty damn special herself too. If you haven't already seen her, you are going to absolutely love her to pieces. Now... I think I'm going to grab my... Because I haven't used this for a while. I'm going to grab my sleek... Midas Touch highlighting palette. This is one of the first highlighters I ever got. And I'm going to go into the white shade Cubic Zirconia. This is literally a lip brush. I bought it off of eBay about 10 years ago. But it's absolutely perfect for adding in a little pop of brow highlight here. Taking care not to disrupt the stars. And I'm going to do the same thing on the inner corner. And I like to pull it along and just meet the uh, colour at the bottom of my lashes as well. I find that's quite a flattering look for my particular eye shape. You don't have to do that if you don't want. You can just stick to the inner corner highlight or you could use a matte um, white shadow if you didn't want to use a shimmer. Right, I'm going to pause you uh, one last time while I pop some more of this highlight all over my face, put some mascara on, choose a lipstick, do something with my hair. I'll be back with a final look. I am back. So. Here we go. Um, I use the same highlight everywhere. 
the lipstick is actually that um, if you look at the Slush 2 um, film that I put up, first impression, sorry, hay fever. I got sent this lipstick for free from AMS Artistry. Magnetic closure, you know what I'm like, magnetic closures. Um, and I've got to be honest, I'm really liking it. I've worn it pretty much every day since they sent it to me. It's super lightweight, um, it's very very creamy, glides on without any problem at all, doesn't, doesn't dry your lips out at all. Lasts actually quite well through drinking as well. Um, obviously eating takes it off, it's a bullet lipstick, what do you expect? Um, you do get a slight tingling with it after you first apply it, but that only lasts for a few minutes and then that dies down. So, and you can actually order these without that. On their website they've got this colour. They've got a red and they've got either hot, cold or none for the sensations. Um, but I just, I love this look. It's got all of the um, glitter on the outside of it. But none of that comes off on your lips. But um, this is an ASMR so it's, you know, you, you, you can get fascinated by the glitter or the smell of it or the feel of it on your lips or like me, I, I tend to sit there and just fiddle with, um, in terms of, not just so much ASMR, but um, obviously you can run your nails down the ridged thing. But for me, in terms of my anxiety, I can sit there and do that, where I'm literally lifting, twisting, and letting it drop again. And that really helps me. That probably annoys the hell out of anyone sitting next to me. But I'm actually really loving that. But this is about my representation of that photo. So, what do you think? Would you have done this? Would you attempt this cloud look? I quite like the fact that where I've used a non um, full coverage, it's like a medium coverage concealer. I like the fact that some of the colour is just peeping through the cloud so it gives it that appearance that it is wispy and you know, it's not a solid object. Um, I actually really like that. that. For a first attempt I'm really quite pleased with it. But what do you think? Is this a good enough interpretation of this? And uh, more importantly what is Kaylee's version going to look like? So, if you are one of my 4F babies, please be sure to go across and check out Kaylee's film and give her the same amount of love and support that you always offer me in my comment section. Um, just quickly though, before you nip over and watch her film, please double check you're still subscribed because YouTube's still doing that thing where they're taking subscribers away and it's just so confusing. Um, I got unsubscribed from a couple of channels that I've been watching for ages this week and I'm just like, why haven't I seen any films of theirs for quite a while? Went to their film, went to their channel and suddenly realised that I'd been unsubscribed. If, however, this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, welcome, I hope you'll enjoy it here. Um, I'm normally a lot more in depth with my teaching than I am in this particular film. Uh, I've got a lot of different films that you can watch. Um, all of the photo collabs are in one folder called Photo Inspiration and all of the collabs that I've done full stop are in collabs and the previous two that I did that included Kaylee which was the uh, musicians inspired look and the Halloween in July. There is also a playlist for that called Sweet 16. So, there we go. It's a joint playlist. So I don't know. It should appear on my playlists. It should. If not, go to Collabs, find either one of those and then when you open it up it'll have the playlist link in the description of those two films. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this here. I hope you'd like to stay. Um, completely understand if you don't. I'm not everybody's cup of tea and that's fine because I drink coffee anyway. 
Right, enough of this nonsense from me. That's quite enough for one day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And all that remains for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.